YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Booba, and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Hope you guys are having an incredible day. After a long 18 squads, man, we have finally got him. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and check out the new footies hero card for none other than Janola. Janola is a 98 rated card. He has high medium work rates, right footer with five star skill moves and five star weak foot. Now we do see a lot of versatility with the card, which is always really nice to see. He can play the striker, left mid, center attacking mid, and left wing positions. Now, if we go ahead and look at his in-game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card is very well rounded from an attacking perspective. I think that the technical side to his game is going to be absolutely phenomenal, but the physical side is going to be really good as well. Now, he does have 99 pace overall with 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. He does also have the rapid and quick step play style. So, I mean, I think that is going to be one of the standout stats for the card. Now, the 95 shooting is going to be a really important stat because we do need him to be very clinical in game. And I would probably go ahead and recommend a chem style to make his attacking positioning and finishing a little bit better in game. Not to say that it's bad, man, but I think that that's one area of his game that can most definitely be improved. He has 91 attacking positioning and 96 finishing. He does also have the five-star weak foot, which is a great addition for the card. And then he does also have the finesse shot play style plus, and we all know how OP that is. Now, not only is he going to be able to bag you a lot of goals, but I think that the chance creation with the card is going to be incredible as well. He does have both 92 passing and 96 dribbling. So again, I think that you can get a lot of assists with him if you want to play him as like a left winger as a center forward. Now he does have 97 vision, 90 short pass, 90 long pass, and 94 curve. I do expect this passing to be really accurate accurate in game and when you go ahead and pair that with his 96 dribbling i think that the chance creation is going to be superb now he does only have 90 balance and 90 reactions so again you can maybe go ahead and give him the finisher cam style to help out with that just to make him a little bit more smooth on the ball but he does have the five star skill moves and then also the technical play style plus so i think that the dribbling is going to be a huge part to his game and then last but not least and another really important stat for the card the 90 physical now he does have 92 stamina which is okay and then he does also have 89 strength and 88 aggression so i do expect him to be quite strong both on and off the ball. Now, if we jump on over to Footbin Boys, we can see that Janola does have 10 different play styles. He has the finesse shot, technical, power shot, and first touch play style pluses. And then he does also have the chip shot, tiki taka, rapid flare, trickster, and quick step. Now, he can have both the controlled and controlled lengthy acceleration types. And when it comes to chemistry styles, boys, I do think that the finisher is a really good option. Now, with the finisher chem style, he is going to have the controlled acceleration type. It's going to give him 98 shooting overall. We are going to go ahead and max out his attacking, positioning, finishing, and shot power. So the finishing in and around the box should be very consistent and then last but not least and most importantly it's also going to give the card 98 dribbling really helping out with his agility and balance it's going to give him 99 agility 94 balance and 99 dribbling for that subcategory so i do expect them to feel very smooth on the ball and as you guys know janola does have the tall and normal body type so i think it's really important to help out with his dribbling as much as possible as always boys if you guys do enjoy these fc24 play reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is a team we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new janola card we're going to be playing them as the left side and center forward in the 4-3-2-1 formation so without further ado boys let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is all right boys here we are jumping into game number one using the new footies hero janola card and i must say i'm actually really excited to test them out now the plan is to go ahead and use them as the left side and center forward in the 4-3-2-1 formation we need him to be very clinical but we also want him to create a lot of chances now first things first you guys know how we like to start every play review and that is by testing out out the cards dribbling now he does have the tall and normal body type so when it comes to left stick dribbling it might take some time getting used to but i love the fact that he does have the technical play style plus man i think that the r1 dribbling is going to be absolutely superb and as you guys can see man he does keep it very close the r1 dribbling does feel really nice well, there's a good Janola. Almost playing like a lone striker at the moment. The acceleration boost after the step over is going to be so good. Five star weak foot as well. That's a great finish. And I feel like when you go ahead and pair the technical side to his game with his physical side, he's just going to be an absolute tank going forward. Now, we can go ahead and spring into a counter attack. And now the fact that he does have both rapid and quick step play styles, I do expect him to be very quick. There goes that physicality again. Finesse shot near post, man. He's not going to miss. I think that he's going to be one of the most clinical players in the game. Bernardo Silva, I like that little run. I'm going to go ahead and signal Janola let's make that run over the top through ball i might just go power shot on the volley no we'll cut it back yeah boys that's a decent pass as well janola ball roll finesse shot good shape to it just a little bit central i think that his long shots so far have been a little bit inconsistent but as you guys know if you do play him out wider as like a left side of center forward that is going to be a constant threat nice good football janola little acceleration boost rashford takes it off of his feet but again man decent tiki taka passing right there Janola finesse shot near post Michael with a good save now we do have a corner in the 45th minute a really good opportunity to maybe test out another long shot with him Cruz I'm just gonna go ahead and reverse it back to him ball roll finesse shot with his five-star weak foot 
Schmeichel with another really good save. I like the fact that he does have the first touch play style plus, man. I think that's a very underrated play style plus for him to have. Janola touch five star weak foot. It's another really good finish. And the technical play style plus has been so good so far. Janola five star skill moves. A little bit of left stick dribbling, keeping it very close again. I feel like in some situations, he does feel just a little bit heavy on the ball, but it hasn't been that big of a problem. Ball roll finesse shot with this five-star weak foot in off of the crossbar. Like I said, man, it's a constant threat. Out of Ujo, big tackle. Now we are keeping the pressure up. A little bit of R1 dribbling. Finesse shot again, edge of the box. It's good, man. It's good. We're starting to get used to his finesse shots a little bit more. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number two. And so far, so good. Now, in order to complete the SBC, there are 18 different requirements. It's going to cost you roughly 2.2 million coins because the lowest rated squad that you do have to go ahead and complete is 91 rated. I mean, there's a lot of 93 rated teams, so it is a bit of a grind to go ahead and complete. But I think that it's safe to say, man, he's an end game player and it's a really good SBC to go ahead and grind for. But yeah, man, let's see if we can get off to a good start in game number two trickster into a power shot mcguire with a really good block now i will say man i think that the only thing that kind of takes getting used to is maybe his body type the tall and normal body type i mean if you do prefer your smaller more intricate type of players i think that it's going to take some time getting used to but he has been very smooth on the ball which is really important nice good left stick dribbling right there i'm gonna go finesse shot near post see what happens <sighs> off of the crossbar man again the finesse shots have been really good so far Janola, a little bit of R1 dribbling right here. I might just try to go for like a simple pass in this situation. Good ball into Barcola. Finish. Oh, boys, Radetsky very quick off of his line, but another really accurate pass. Janola, trickster, into a power shot, edge of the box. It's a great finish, man. The trickster into the power shot playstyle plus is really OP. And I love the fact that he does have both the power shot and finesse shot playstyle pluses. Adds a lot of variety to his attack. Now, this guy is defending in the 4-4-2, which is a little bit more compact. Janola, look at that finesse shot. Look at that finesse shot, boys. I mean, it's just too good. The fact that we really didn't even get the ball out of his feet and we didn't generate a lot of power, but it still manages to find the back of the net is insane. That's good from Lucio. Now, the one thing that I have found really good so far with the card has been his pace. I'm going to go for a cross diagonal. Zanetti, that's a great ball. Janola, I mean, with the first touch play style plus, we should be getting that under control, but that's okay. Five-star skill moves in between the two center backs. Just go for a simple finish. Probably should have put a little bit more power behind that. Janola, I might just try to go for a simple pass right here. Rashford's made a really good run. And yeah, man, I mean, you get the best of both worlds with the card. His passing is very accurate. His finishing is very consistent as well. I mean, he's kind of covered it. Janola, ball roll, finesse shot, out of his feet. It's so good, man. It's like a penalty for him. I know at the start of game number one, it was a little bit inconsistent. But now that we've gotten used to it, I mean, he's it's, it's just so good. Kamavinga down the line. Janola, great first touch. All the way, all the way, all the way. I'm going to look for a cutback right here. It's a simple pass, but I think that we got a little bit too close to the goalkeeper. Nice, good football. Janola, acceleration boost finish. Yeah, I mean, the finishing in and around the box has been so consistent. And again, man, that acceleration boost after the step over has been a huge part to his game. Although he doesn't have the rapid or the quick step playstyle pluses, he does have the base playstyle, and you can most definitely feel that. All we need is really one more goal in this game. Janola. Oh, look at the drop of the shoulder, boys. Trivella near post. It's good. The acceleration has been so, so good. Bernardo Silva. Janola in between the fullback and the center back. There goes that first touch again, boys. I mean, it's just so good. I'm just going to run in a straight line and go for a cutback. It's a good ball, man. A little bit lucky that has gone through the legs of the defender. But honestly, that's what he brings to the team. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Footies Hero Janola card in a few games of Foot Champions. And I think that is safe to say, man, an endgame player. Now, as you guys know, in order to complete that SBC, there are 18 different requirements. It is going to cost you roughly 2.5 million coins to complete. And for that price, although it is a tad bit expensive, you're getting a phenomenal player. Now, if we go ahead and dissect this in-game stats in a bit more detail, I do think that the 99 pace was one of the standout stats for the card i think down that left hand side as that left side is center forward with the addition of the rapid and quick step play styles it was very difficult to catch up to him now for me personally boys the 95 shooting was the standout stat for the card with the finisher he does have 99 for attacking positioning finishing and shot power and with the addition of both the finesse shot play style plus and the power shot play style plus him having the five star weak foot as well i mean he was just so clinical i think that the finishing in and around the box was very consistent and then his long shots were very consistent as well now if you do want to go ahead and use him as like a left side center forward or maybe even as like a center attacking mid in game the 92 passing and 96 dribbling are going to be two really important stats for the card and i will say man not only can he bag you a lot of goals but he can also create a lot of chances i think that the passing was really accurate and when you go ahead and pair that with his dribbling i think that the chance creation was superb now with the finisher chem style he does have 99 agility and 94 balance and i will say he does have the tall and normal body type so i do think that the left stick dribbling does take some time getting used to but the r1 dribbling with the technical play style plus i mean it's some of the best in the game at the moment and then last but not least, boys, the 90 
physical another huge part to his game with his 89 strength and 88 aggression he was actually very strong both on and off the ball overall i'm gonna go ahead and give the card like a 9.8 out of 10 rating i really enjoyed using him as the left side of center forward in the 4-3-2-1 formation i think that the technical side to his game is some of the best currently in fc24 but the physical side was really effective as well now as you guys know the cost of the sbc is roughly 2.5 million coins there are 18 different squads with the lowest one being 91 rated so it is a bit of a grind but you are most definitely getting an end game player so if you are looking for a new sbc to go ahead and grind for over time i think that Janola is a perfect option all four play style pluses that they ended up giving the card are really effective in game with the finisher cam style a very well-rounded player as well and if you do prefer your taller more physical type of attackers i think that Janola is a fantastic option for the price if you do have the fodder and if you do have the coins and you are looking for an sbc to go ahead and grind for over time i think that Janola is a really fun and a really op player in game and i would highly recommend them but that is going to be the end of today's video if you guys did enjoy it let me know by leaving a like comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review and then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video i've been your boy Bupa, and i'll catch you guys in another one very very soon peace